Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now today, Kiambu County has been painted in blue and red. And surprisingly, there have never been a time when anyone has thought that the people of Mount Kenya can go to an extent of calling or referring to the Deputy President William Samai Ruto as Mwizi. <laughs> but today the ground ha was overexcited. And I'm sure this has caused panic in UDA. They did it in front of Raila Amolo Odinga. Listen to them shortly and we are going to continue with our discussion. I want us to use this opportunity to check on some of the issues that Raila Amolo Odinga gave more of focus in his Azimio La Umoja to Thika. But before we go deep into that, a quick request. You might be watching this channel but you have not yet subscribed. So our humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time once we release a video like this, we'll always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone, anyone who dropped a comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video thumbs up so that YouTube will recommend our video to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, Raila was able to explain to the people of Mount Kenya region how he's going to fight corruption and what he will do to those people who have been involved themselves into corruption issues. <laughs> And if you look on the response from the masses, it is clear that the people of Mount Kenya region are agreeing with Raila Molo Dinga that there is corruption. And therefore, they are agreeing that they need someone who can fight that corruption. And because Raila has a clear plan on how to deal with the issue of corruption, these people are buying into what Raila is selling to them. Because look here, you have two front runners in this election. Raila Odinga, William Samoy Ruto. One individual is in the government. So you look at it, is it Raila or William Samoy Ruto? Definitely, Ruto is the deputy president. And if Raila is talking about corruption in the government, it means corruption is being executed with those people who are in the government. So definitely, it is Ruto who is in the government. And every time when Ruto gets out, there's no anywhere in his speech where he has mentioned on how he's going to deal with the issue of corruption. But what wa Mount Kenya wa mekubali kwamba kuna corruption kwa serikali. So meaning, to some extent, Raila is winning the support of Mount Kenya region. So definitely, many people are accepting that if there was no corruption in Kenya, the development will be on another level. But because of corruption, the result ndio unaona mambo kama Kimaror and Arordam. Na mambo mengine tu, Everywhere there is corruption, and therefore Raila is promising to stop this so that people can have an environment that can enable them to do their business, get their profit, and no overtaxing of Kenyans. Just as in Kenya, they overtax people because the money has gone into corruption, so they need another means to get money to pay the debts. Now, secondly, Raila Odinga used that opportunity to capitalize on the Mistakes of Tangatanga. Tanga. <laughs> Remember when they had their rally in Eldoret, the issue of Madodo came in. Cheriota alikuwa naambia the other member of parliament, yule, yule muhindi, Arudi Punjabi. So Raila used this opportunity to condemn such utterances and make it clear that in his government, in case he get elected, he is welcoming everyone and Kenya he has also reminded the people who are listening to him on how the forefathers were fighting for unity and independence of the country. So in that way he was appealing to the people of Mount Kenya region. Because definitely Kule Rift Valley. That they are safe in as mere government. He also extended this by assuring the Hindi community in Kenya that they are only safe in as mere government. Because for him, he's embracing everyone. And once you are a Kenyan, there's no way someone should tell you Urudi Punjabi. <laughs> That's why he had to mention Punjabi. So in that way, you see, he, he is going to win the hearts of the Indian communities in Kenya. They're going to easily vote for Raila Odinga and not William Samoy Ruto. Because ukiona ile matamusha kina wanatoa, definitely, they are not 
the Indians cannot be safe in maybe UDA government. So Raila has scored well, very well on this one because when your opponent make mistake, try to look for a way to gain from that mistake. So he's doing very well on this. And you can see the crowd is receiving it very well. They are responding very well and they are in agreement with Raila Molo Odinga that all people who are in Kenya, as long as you are a citizen or even an outsider who is living there, you have to live in peace and uh, Mamba ya Madoa Doa is to square the order of the day. Again, for those who listen to Raila Odinga's speech to the end, there is somewhere Aliambia William Samuel Ruto toka kwa serikali baba fanya kazi. <laughs> so this time around Raila decided to go head on on William Samuel Ruto because Ruto, in one hand, he has been criticizing the government and at the same one hand, he want to take credit where the government has performed very well. So, Raila Odinga is telling Ruto, you have been in government for eight years, but corruption was the order of the day. But you see, for the shortest time, Raila has come in to help President Uhuru Kenyatta. He is telling the masses that this is the only time President Uhuru Kenyatta has been able to do much more better, even in terms of project. There is so many projects that has been already been accomplished on ground, and there are other projects that are going on. But if you look in the other government, corruption was the order of the day. To an extent, even President Uru Kenyatta went, to, and went further to stop some of the project. Because if you look on how looting was happening, there was no way those projects could have been accomplished. <laughs> Again, Raila went further to talk about the wheelbarrow issue, digital issue also. Remember during 2013, even 2017, when Ruta was campaigning, Alikuwa nasema Raila is analog, how on a digital. So Ruto, they were promising laptops and so many other things. But Raila is challenging him here. After you promise laptop and eh, you have been championing for digital. But how come you are bringing wheelbarrow instead of that laptop? So it means Ruto has turned to analog, but not the digital that he has been claiming all along. That's what Raila is telling these people, and it is true. Where are those laptops? And again, he made so many promises during especially 2017 campaign. In six months' time, see this stadium and that stadium, this job and that job. Raila has challenged him that last time Ulukuna Sema, the Jubilee government will provide one million job. This time round, you are promising four million jobs. <laughs> and even he got an accent to, to, to promise 10 million jobs. So the question is, if you do not manage to deliver one million jobs in eight years, how are you going to, to how are you going to deliver this four million job and ten million jobs? It really is not it's not not just a, a a mere promise that you are giving, which cannot be fulfilled at the end of the day. So there is a sense of direction really is trying to plant into these people to see what is achievable and. Uh, the mere statement that Ruto is trying to make. Then at the end of the day, even if he gets elected, he cannot deliver whatever he's trying to promise the people. And if you look at these people, look at them. They are receiving Raila Odinga's message very well. <laughs> Everyone is super excited. They are listening very keenly and they are responding very well. Remember, Raila see your mutual handout. So there is no handout in this meeting. Totally nothing. Like we know how they mobilize. And surprisingly, you see, if you go on Twitter or Facebook, you will see William Ruto allies in Kidoding Akina Kiptima Murukumen, they are trying to share out photos showing that Raila Odinga did not did not have enough numbers to uh, to, to to address. In that rally. But in really saying this rally was full. They are trying to take photos showing that that stadium was not full. That to me is a sign of panic. These people are panic. That's why they are trying to share out this kind of information to mislead Kenyans. Because in really sense, Raila had one of the best rallies in Thika town. Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. I don't know what you think about this. But I can only read your, your views through the comment section. So let us have a continuation of this conversation through the comment section. 
May good God bless you and see you in our next video.